Bhagavate Ram Krishna Om Salutations to Bhagavan Ram Krishna Welcome to the 10th class in this second series on Mantra Yoga. We've come a long way and we only hope that uh, we have some people who are actually putting this into practice. There have been questions about what are the signs that we have been repeating this mantra for so long? What are the indications? Well, there are indications mentioned in the Upanishad, the scriptures, and we'll go through it. So, like everything, when you start repeating a mantra, that's a raw stage. And then slowly, slowly it becomes ripe, it becomes mature. The mantra may be mature and may be an ancient, very ancient mantra. But when one repeats it for the first time or one receives it for the first time, keeps on, one has to develop that mantra within oneself. So what happens? For one thing, as you keep on repeating the mantra, a subtle power of this mantra is released by this mantra. It's an amazing thing that it is this mantra now which becomes part of your subtle body. And then we find your subtle body completely tra getting transformed. It's something like this. As you keep on repeating this mantra, that subtle power is released. That is actually changing you inside. And how does it happen? We speak about the body and the mind, etc. being purified. The mantra is actually purifying you. You will feel a sense of the mantra getting mature and mature because it has become part of your subtle body, part of you rather. It becomes part of you. Like you live and breathe and you work through that mantra. You live in that mantra, you live in the consciousness of the mantra. So it starts maturing as well, like, you know. So as you keep on repeating, it's like, you no, know, a moth in a cocoon, you know. That mantra, now what happens, it protects you and then you emerge out of it, free. We get this butterflies, you know, how they are kind of, as if they are trapped in a cocoon, but that cocoon protects them actually. And as that mantra protects you slowly and slowly and slowly, you emerge out transformed. Yes, that's very important. So as you keep on repeating this mantra, there is a subtle power being released in the, in the body. And that is protecting you. That's what the meaning of the mantra is. Mananatrayateti mantra. That is the mantra on its repeat, repetition, on the dwelling of the meaning, protects you. Trayate. So this mantra, transforming you, protects you. And as it protects you, slowly and slowly, inside, like a like a moth or a butterfly or a caterpillar or whatever, you are being kind of transformed inside. And then at the right time, you emerge out. This is the first stage of the maturity of the mantra. You'll know that. Okay, so how do you know that these transformations have taken place or are taking place or will take place? Yeah, you can gauge it. 
the very first thing is you will feel a, a tremendous sense of lightness. I used to wonder how do these people, they sit down for, year, for years and years, for hours and hours every day. You know, when I was young, I used to see like Swami Vivekananda and all these, they are sitting down almost the whole day. Don't they get tired? Don't they get a body ache? Doesn't their legs become numb? What's happening? Is it possible? And then after many, many years, then I understood the secret behind it. That they feel that tremendous lightness. And how, you know, how do you feel that? You will feel you are just a mass of mind. You will not feel your body at all. You feel your body like air like, or like air passing through your body. You will not feel its grossness at all. At times you will feel so light, you might even look down and see if I'm actually walking on the ground or I'm floating on air. When you have this, you can sit on for hours and hours without feeling sleepy, without any back pain or leg pain or numbness or nothing. That lightness will come in. This is the very first sign that the mantra has become part of you and it is manifesting here. You can see it as a feeling of lightness. Your food intake will reduce. Your sleep will reduce, obviously. So, because when you're feeling slight, the next thing that you will have is health. See, the more gross we are in the body, the more we think about our health. That means the moment you're thinking about your health and you're thinking about, you're feeling the body, that means your body consciousness is so dominant. With the, with the advent of lightness, your body consciousness goes and with the body consciousness also goes away ill health. You will feel healthy. You, you will become healthy. You, you may fast for a couple of days. You may do everything. You will not feel it. You, you may even eat a huge meal and it's not going to upset you because the very power of the mantra has transformed also your vital forces, your life forces inside. It can digest anything. Yes. So health is one of the things that is. And secondly, what happens is you, you have this idea of lightness and then health and then we have something called that non-covetousness. Okay. Now we'll say, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> this is a very gross, you can say, picture. You don't have to worry. It may not appear like what happens is you will not covet anything in thought, word and deed. You will not even bother over people. That is, you will not judge people absolutely. You will not see any high or low. You will not see any distinction. You will take people as they are. And the very end of this non-covetousness, a lolulupthvam, that is what the Patanjali Yoga Sutta says, is actually what happens like, you know, at the very extreme, it's called a non-receiving of gifts. You can get the memory of past lives. Yes. So, Janma Katana Sambodha. So, so, once you are established in that, you will not covet anybody's good in thought, word or deed. That's a thing that even we don't do it. Yeah, you don't do it on the, on the material level, but somewhere there in the mind, that thing of aggrandizement, of acquiring is there. 
that goes away. That's a tremendous feel. That's a tremendous sense of liberation. The mind is getting liberated. Okay. Then the next thing that happens is you will start feeling a kind of an you yourself will feel a kind of an odor and the other yogis also will feel. It's like when you go to the garden, okay, and you, got, you go to the garden and then you know whatever, you smell that, you know, it's beautiful smell. Yeah. So the last 10 minutes the microphone went off. Well, mm, what we can do is repeat a few of the main teachings. First thing is, there's a tremendous lightness that comes in the body. Okay. And that is because of the release of the, the powers of the mind, of the mantra. The mind has powers and the mantra has powers and both combine to give us this kind of feeling of lightness. Okay. The second, as we have seen, is the idea that as it's maturing inside, we are finding a kind of a transformation that's going on. And this transformation takes place in, there is no sense of greed. There is no sense of kind of covetousness. Your health becomes good. There's a kind of a steadiness in your gait in your walk, everything becomes in you steady and this steadiness is actually what brings stability in your life. That lightness will make you feel that there is a vaster idea of yourself. See when your gross body is kind of, uh, kind of clamped down on your subtle body, you feel kind of limited, but with the removal of your gross body, the idea of a gross body, when you become so light, you will feel this, your subtle body, your idea of existence expanding. And as your idea of existence expanding, you can bring in many things and many people. You will start loving other people. So this, these are the things that happen. So. How do you sit down for hours and hours and hours without any fatigue for meditation? People complain, oh, my back is aching, my leg is aching. But then, once the mantra becomes mature inside, you can sit down for hours and hours and hours. And this is how then you know that the mantra is now getting transformed. So, first thing is the lightness, the feeling of extreme lightness. You will feel you, like the, as if the air is passing through you or you are passing through the air. You will not feel your body at all. Then second thing that happens is health. The more you are body conscious, the more ill health the body has. The less body conscious you are, the more healthy you are. So that, that. Then there is something called even your subtle body will give off a perfumed, kind of a sweet smelling odor. And you can, you know it and others also, those who are yogis will be able to understand it, that it's there, yeah. And then there is the absence of covetousness and there is the steadiness in the gaze. And this is what actually are the indications for the maturity of the mantra. Okay. We had some technical difficulties. I think it's resolved, I hope. Yeah. So, for today's practice, we will take up the well-known mantra, Om Namah Shivai. Now, Om Namah Shiva, Om, salutations to Shiva. Okay. You can use this mantra for now, for today, for your practice. 
those who have got their own personal mantras can use that mantra. And this is the image. So for a practice we will do is, sit down straight please. Square your shoulders, keep your neck straight and gaze as it were right here near the, either the space outside the tip of the nose or here outside the chin. Now close your eyes please. Keep a half smile on your face. Your yeah, mantra japa should be joyous. Though your gaze as it were, is fixed on the point or the space outside your nose or your chin. Your eyeballs are still. Try to look now inside. Don't let your eyeballs shift from there, from this position. But as it were, you're looking inside. The inside of your body is as it were hollow but full of light. It's a pale yellow light. This light extends the hands and feet to the very fingers and toes. Your whole body is full of this pale yellow light. Now repeat Om Nama Shivai while visualizing that form of Shiva. Or you may not want to visualize also, just repeat this Om Nama Shivai. Look inside you, inside the body, it's hollow but it's full of light. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Now repeat this slowly, silently, with feeling. As you repeat, feel that light inside the entirety of your body becoming brighter. Keep repeating the mantra slowly, silently, with feeling and feel that light inside 
growing stronger. Uh, repeat it audibly, please. And feel that sound reverberating inside. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Repeat it silently and feel that light inside vibrating with this sound also. Now you can slowly take long deep breath. We can stop here. Om Namah Shivaya. You get the idea. As you keep on repeating, there are some who would like to visualize the image of Shiva. You can do that. There are some who would not like to. But just concentrate on the growing intensity of the light as well as the vibration inside. With every repetition, that light as it was vibrating, getting more and more and more intense. There is an actual vibration. And this is how the subtle body gets transformed. As you keep on repeating, you will not have to visualize it. You will perceive it that it has become so. And then as the intensity of the light keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing, you will find that there's a tremendous sense of that, like we have said, that lightness. That will be the first thing that you will find. Yeah, you may not, uh, you don't have to look around and see whether you're sitting on the seat or something like that. Yeah, it will be, it will be magical. And you will understand how that the subtle power of the mantra is transforming you, how it is becoming part of you, it's blending within you. And then all your activities of waking or dreaming or deep sleep will be done through that mantra. So, when you're working, when you're talking, when you're walking, everything, that mantra has become part of you. So, sometimes you don't know whether that mantra has overtaken you completely or you still have your own separate identity. You will have, but your identity will be fixed in this mantra, in the deity. Then you know you have come to the culmination of this mantra yoga. Now, the Yoga Sutra says, is saying, Swadhyayadi Ishta Devata Samprayoga. So, what he's saying is, by the repetition of the mantra, one's Ishta, that is chosen deity, is revealed or is attained. So when you are repeating this mantra, your particular mantra or this particular mantra, as you keep on repeating over and over again, you will realize the intended deity, the chosen deity, which, the name which you are calling out to God. That will be revealed to you. 
but like I said, first all these stages will be, have to be gone through. And then you will find this is what actually happens. So this purified subtle body has been spoken of various, by various people of various ways. But we won't go into that philosophical discussion. We just remember there's a tremendous sense of lightness. You feel your whole existence now buoyant. You will always feel this kind of their extended presence everywhere. And people around you and people even inanimate things like, you know, animate but then trees, etc. will also feel your presence. And you will feel their presence. So it is a very transformative experience when your mantra matures. Yes, and keep on repeating and good luck to you all. As you repeat, get transformed. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Yeah, we had some difficulties with uh, Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Now we have Namaste. Okay. While imagining the deity at the center of the heart during meditation, should we focus only on the face or the entire body of the? the entire body of the, of the deity. That's the idea. Uh, okay, um, we are sorry that uh, we lost the sound, but then uh, I think now we can, can get back to it. Can anybody get mantra initiation or do we have to follow, observe some? Uh, anybody can get, but you must be prepared for that. What, what do you mean by prepared for that? You must be prepared for that commitment that you are going to repeat it n number of times every day. So that is a commitment. And then once you start taking it, then you can understand, yeah, there's a transformation going. Oh, okay, there's no sound, there's no please. Yeah, there was that. Okay, uh, I hope that the next recording will tell everything that he planned to say in this. Okay. <laughs> okay, now th there are only all these questions. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, we have when the three girls. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then you got most of it. I spell Namaha instead of Nama. Is it okay? No, it's Namaha. Just make Namaha. Not na Namaha. Just Namaha. This Namaha. This Nama. Namaha. So that, that itself will kind of do. Uh, does listening to someone chanting mantra have the same experience as ourselves chanting it? Yes, there is there is a effect of others chanting it uh, when you hear it, but it's better that you do it. Okay. <laughs> How can I remove bad thoughts from my mind? Think of good thoughts. Keep on thinking of good thoughts. Okay, and that is what it is. Depends on what you are doing. That, that will that convert you into what either good or bad. Okay. What's that question you were saying about Shunya? No. So, we had a few questions. So, uh, we apologize for that technical, but then, you know, this is technology. We'll have to live with such things. And... Uh, <laughs>
So to sum up once again, remember, there is a subtle power that's released when you, as you repeat the mantra. And as a subtle power is released, it can be later perceived as light. Okay. What this, this does is, like a cocoon, it covers you and protects you. But there is an internal transformation going on, like a moth or a butterfly that is transformed within the cocoon, then one emerges out. And the first thing one feels is the tremendous sense of lightness. Yes, unbelievable. You will feel your body just like, like airy, air. You will not feel the body at all. And that brings health, that brings a beautiful voice. That, that is another thing that is there. You will not, Swami Vivekananda says, you won't find anybody with a croaking voice. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have beautiful voice. You will find that there is a, later on you'll find there's this subtle odor coming out from, your, from yourself, from your subtle body. So that means that mantra has become part of your subtle body. It has become part of you. And you will do all your activities from, from that mantra. And you will derive strength from that mantra. And you will derive joy from that mantra. And then finally, you will see that deity, the one you have been visualizing and repeating the mantra. Okay? We stop here for today. Om, peace, peace, peace.